if you allow those people to speak into your life, things will go wrong. It's like they are creating for you this prison. Maybe you think, I am a failure, that you are a failure in life. But in your spirit, you know, this will not be my life. Let's take one step towards your freedom. Welcome. Welcome to this wonderful message. Maybe you feel like you are a prisoner. You are a prisoner of your life or of your situation. Well, one day, some time ago, me too, I also was a prisoner of my situation. I felt like I could go nowhere. Maybe because you made some wrong choices or you blame other people or that's life. Then this message, with this message, you and I, or you and the Holy Spirit, you will take one step towards your freedom. Your friends may tell you, maybe your own family will tell you, will say, well, we love you, we care about you, but this is how your life. Accept it. It's like they are creating for you this cave, this prison where you are supposed to stay. This is your life, stay like this. But in your spirit, from the inside, you know, no, 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 no. This will not be my life. I have to change it. But maybe you don't know how to do it. Well, today, let's take one step towards your freedom. And the title of today's message, especially for you, is I will no longer, no longer, I will hide myself in your cave. I will no longer hide myself in your cave. Today, I will talk about the story of Judah and Tamar, this man and this lady. Judah was the son of Jacob. Jacob's name was later changed into Israel. And Jacob, or Israel, had 12 sons. And their descendants became the 12 tribes of Israel. So the descendants of Judah became the tribe of Judah. And out of the tribe of Judah came King David, famous for Jewish believers and also Christians. And centuries later, out of the same tribe of Judah came our Messiah, Jesus Christ. So this man Judah is not just some man, he is in the tribe of David and our Messiah. And he had three sons. And the eldest son married this lady by the name of Tamar. But this man, this son, was an evil man. So the Bible tells us that he was killed by God. We don't know what he did, but he was killed. And now this woman, Tamar, was a widow. And according to their tradition, to their culture, the next son, the second son, should marry her. So she got married the second time. But this son too, had an evil character, so he also died. And then, according to the custom that time, she should marry the last son, the youngest son, the third one. And here we start our story. This woman, by the name of Tabar, married twice, widowed twice, and now she should marry the youngest son. And listen what this uh, Judah, this man Judah, tells his daughter-in-law, this loving man. Listen what he says. Genesis 38 verse 11. Judah then said to his daughter-in-law Tamar, Live as a widow in your father's house until my son Shelah grows up. For he thought he may die too, just like his brothers. So Tamar went to live in her father's house. Live as a widow. That's what this man Judah told his daughter-in-law Tamar. Go and live as a widow. Now, a widow in those days had no rights. She had no property, could not own anything, no, cannot do any business. She needed protection from other people. So people could take advantage of you, especially men. So you don't want to be a widow in those days. But this man Judah tells Tamar, you go and live as a widow. Stay in your situation, accept this prison that life has created for you. Now, to bring it to our days, to our life, 
it's like people say, stay in your situation. You are unemployed, well, at least you are alive. You breathe, you have breath. You are drowning in your debts, your finances are a mess. Well, except that this is your life, this is your life. Your son or your daughter is rebellion, doesn't want to go to school, to study, to do anything, accept it. Your husband abuses you, physically, mentally, People don't appreciate you when you're working at your job, your manager curses you, you are depressed, you are sick. Well, it's like people are telling you, live as a widow. Stay in your, in your cave that life has created for you. Now, if you are not careful, if you're not very careful, then you will accept this situation. You will accept and embrace this person, that life that people have created for you, this cave. And then it's not just an action, something you do, but it will become you. It will become your identity, not just what you do. It will define your character, who you are as a living being. It's not only what you do, it's your identity. And it's like this man, Judah, is telling this poor widow, this poor lady, this mourning widow, Tamar. It's like he is telling her, this will be your life. This is your identity. This is your destiny. This is your life. Now he says, go and live as a widow in your father's house. So not just stay as a widow, but stay far away from me. Don't come into my sphere of influence. Stay away from my bubble. Go, I do care. Do you care, Judah? Is this the advice you give this poor Daughter-in-law of you, Tamar, is this what you wanted to do? Stay as a widow, live as a widow, far away from your phone. That's what he's saying, stay far away from me. Is this cruel? Well, you judge for yourself.